Today on the channel, the B6 Neo Compact Charger. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You may have seen in a while back my best of July 2023 video. We showcased this Sky RC B6 Neo. It's a compact little dual input charger that can charge your battery up to 6S, and it has a built-in fan on here. It has a physical fan, and it's so small, it can pretty much fit in the palm of your hand or fit in your pocket. And it can charge from a power bank or an XT60 a voltage all the way up to 26 volts. So you can run this off a of 6S XT60 input or input from PD 3.0. You can also get converters that convert from XT60 to an AC wall adapter. So you can plug this in and use it as a little mini bench charger, which is kind of cool. But let's go ahead and take a little closer look at it. I'll show you the full color screen on here and why it's probably one of the coolest new chargers out there in the FPV community. Okay guys, let's just go ahead and give this Sky RC B6 Neo a full review and what it really deserves. This is a lot of cool stuff packed into a tiny little charger. I mean, look at this, it fits in the palm of my hand. It comes with this box and I was impressed that it has up to 200 watt on here. It has dual input support for XT60 or the PD USB port there for if you want to plug in a power bank, you can do that, charge from a power bank or an, another LiPo, that's kind of cool. So if you're out in the field, um, you can also get a converter for an XT60 to an AC wall adapter. So you can plug it right into the wall uh, for a US or a even European outlet. Um, if you want to make this like a dedicated bench charger, I mean, if you're somebody who flies like the largest like 6S batteries, you can charge uh, quite a bit of amps on this little guy. It'll charge up to 10 amp output, which is really, really good. It has a full color screen on here. And what I like about it kind of right away as I started using it was not just because it like looks cool, but it's also super easy to enter like the interface. It has three buttons on here um, and it's not like a jog wheel type of setup with my D6 Duo Pro and it's not quite as big. So I feel like this is a great travel size charger and it has plenty of venting on here and a full-size fan in here. So um, that makes a huge difference. It's also kind of an intelligent operated fan where it changes the speed of the fan depending on how much temperature it sees that the board's getting. So that's super important to keep the board cool and kind of operating properly. You don't want to have a risk of fire. Uh, but again, you should never leave these batteries unattended while you're charging. And it does have up to 6S input for XT60 here, which I thought was pretty good. And that PD 3.0 input there as well. Over on this side, up to 6S balance port and your XT60 for out. If you wanna charge something like with an XT30, you can get a connector that will plug in here for the XT60 and convert down to an XT30. But what I think is a really cool option is that this one does have the dual input side, so we can plug in a USB cable here and once we do that from my power bank, I'm now able to charge uh, from the power bank. That's pretty cool. So I can take my 6S battery on the other side here. I can plug it in, kind of use it as a battery checker as well. So it'll show me what my current voltage is. If I just plug in the XT60, if I plug in the balance port, we'll go ahead and, and do that now. And it'll show me individual cell voltage. Um, so you can scroll up there and it'll show you everything here for voltage and we can see the battery IR there. And this will give you a bunch of information as you're charging. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get a charge going. So we're gonna go ahead, press here in the center, and we can change the battery type, the battery cell, the task, what type of charge you wanna do. You wanna do a storage or a balance charge, discharge. Uh, we're just gonna go to balance charge there, select that, go down. Condition, we're doing four, two volt. And current charge, we could do 1.5 amp. Let's just check that and see how high up we can go. And since this is only like a 1300, well, 1400 milliamp battery, we'd really only want to just kind of safe charge at around 1.4 amp there. Um, and we'll go down and there's a start button and we press the middle button and there we go. We're now charging from a power bank. And up at the top left of the screen, it shows me I'm charging a LiPo, 6S, balance charge, I have one milliamp put into the battery here, and this also shows you the current amps, the current voltage, and how much watts we're using here, and the watt hour, and the time elapsed down here. 
And if we go up here, it will show us a little more information on the current cell voltage and balancing up to our six cell setup there and battery IR as well. So some of you guys want that information on your chargers, it's got it. And the power, USB-C PD input, 18 watt at 12 volt, 0.5 amp. And it's now gonna beep when it's done charging as well. And this little guy will charge a variety of different batteries. It'll charge LiPos, it'll charge Lions, which is super cool for long range, because I know a lot of guys on the channel are all about long range. It'll charge LiFe, LiHV, it'll charge nickel metal, nickel cadmium, and PB batteries. So, and just now the fan kicked on, the internal fan kicked on. So I'm gonna put my mic down there a little bit closer, just so you can hear it. I mean, I would probably say this isn't really very loud at all. It's much quieter than my D6 Duo Pro. So you probably wouldn't even hear that fan if you're across the room. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this charge. We're gonna press on the middle there and it says stop, okay. So I'm gonna press there and now it stopped. The fan turned off and if we long press on the middle button, that should take us into the system settings here. I'm just gonna run you through this real quick. It shows task parameters. Click on that middle button and we can scroll up and down. It has a safety timer. So if you don't wanna go over a certain amount of time charging, you can automatically turn off the charger, which is nice. The capacity up to 12,000 milliamp. Let's see if we can charge a bigger battery there. Uh, it looks like we could do 12 up to, well, we can keep kinda of going here. Let's just go all the way up there, up to 13 thousand milliamp man it'll charge a huge battery so it has a pretty large capacity range wow up to 22 thousand milliamp so that's that's pretty phenomenal that a, a charger this size could possibly handle something that's 35 thousand milliamp holy moly uh, 43 thousand 45 thousand maybe up to 50 thousand milliamp battery that would be amazing so I'm going to go back out of that and trickle charge. You can turn that on or off holding voltage. And if you go back there, system settings, we can change the language from English to looks like Mandarin, maybe Korean, Dutch, French, input voltage, minimum input voltage is important. If you're trying to power this off something like a, uh, say like a, a 3S battery and it's, it's set to like 14 volt. I had another charger that was set to 14 volt and it wouldn't turn on. So once I went in the system menu settings and I put it down to a nominal voltage for turning it on, this is what you wanna have. Just set to 10 volt that way. You're not gonna be able to power this from like a 2S battery. Um, you're gonna at least need something that's 10 volt or better there. So, you know, usually a 3S battery will do the job. Now LCD backlight, low, we can change that to high as well and that makes it much brighter but for our video we want to keep it down to uh, maybe medium or low we'll just put it back on low it looks a little better volume i can turn that off which is great so you don't want to hear a bunch of beeps while you're navigating but i kind of like a beep on the bench once my battery's done charging um, and you can do middle and high if i select that then it's really quite noticeably louder uh, but that just depends on you and if you're a little bit far away or in the next room which whenever you're charging lipos try not to be in the next room try to stay in the room with the lipo while it's charging so now i put it back to low and the completion signal you know you can do it once or you can repeat it which is kind of cool so until you walk over to the charger and unplug things and stop the charge i'm going to leave mine on once so that's kind of nice dc power options the voltage 12.3 that's what we have coming in from our power bank uh, currents one amp and go back there battery meter shows us everything here and it's actually it was, it was a real-time battery check right there so that was kind of cool you see it go through that process and you can see that all the, the cells are pretty balanced now um, and they need to be charged up quite a bit there so I'm gonna go back out and they have a few different settings there so let's go down to factory settings as well if you want to reset the whole thing system info system upgrade uh, firmware upgrades available so that's pretty nice okay so i mentioned like a parallel charge board or a balance board earlier so if you want to expand your options from just using a 
like one input. If you need to charge like multiple batteries at once, you can charge up to 10 amp and what it will do is it will split up those uh, current from 10 amp through to each one of these terminals. So um, these boards are great right here. This one's from HGLRC and it has XT30 and XT60 ports on here with the balance port for each one. And again, we can also use the XT60 input and I can power this from a 6S battery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in a 6S battery and it will start up and now I could charge from even up to a 6S battery, which is kind of convenient if you're out in the field. If you have any much larger batteries in a larger milliamp size, something like a 10,000 milliamp battery, charging up a 1300 or a 1400 or a 1550, it doesn't take a lot of energy out of that main battery because really all you're doing is topping off your battery. And you know, I know a lot of you guys have a D6 Duo Pro or the Hoda, that's like one of my favorite chargers of all time. It also has wireless charging for your cell phone across the top. I just think that as far as the compact size, if I was gonna travel, again, I would probably, anytime soon, I would probably take this one with me and my balance uh, port charger from HGLRC. I just think that would be a much more kind of lightweight setup to, to bring in my suitcase or my luggage because for years I've been traveling with my Hoda. You can see it's pretty pretty well used and, and abused. Um, it's just been a tough, tough charger. It also has a, a full-time uh, physical fan inside there, just like this little mini one does. And it seems to be a full-size fan in comparison to what we have here. It's just as big. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep using this one. I'll let you guys know how it goes, either ever in the Discord or right there on the website. I may write an article on this one as well for guys who wanna learn how to use this one a little better. I'll put some information on how to operate this one there as well as some safe LiPo charging. If you're using LiPos for the first time, make sure you never leave these guys unattended and make sure that you get a LiPo safe bag to put all your batteries in. Um, and if you want to, go the extra mile and get yourself one of those bat safe chargers. It's like a big metal box with insulation inside it. And you can put the charger and the battery inside this metal box that has venting and everything on it. So if you do have a fire on the bench, it's gonna be contained. I know a lot of the bat safe uh, people have really saved their shops with those. And, and I've also known a lot of guys who've had their shops burned down. So I want you to stay safe out there with your LiPo charging guys. And for sure, check out my links down below if you wanna grab one of the B6neos. Uh, I'll put a link down there for this one. I'm definitely gonna keep using this one and I just freaking love how small and, and portable it is. I love it. So I hope to see more from SkyRC coming up because this is pretty innovative next to uh, my old giant now brick size favorite uh, D6 uh, Duo Pro. I'm Justin Davis, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next review. Please subscribe.